So this is going to be a little bit different than usual. I want to address the Stellan community. The Stellan community knows who they are. And the Stellan community knows who I am. So we don't need any obligatory introductions and explanations. Now if you're outside of those things, this message is not intended for you. But as a bit of an explanation, I want to try an unconventional approach to communicate some uh, ideas that I think might benefit the Stellan community, also known as ETs. Now, you Stellans don't recognize yourself as ETs or extraterrestrials or aliens, and we know that. But this is the this is the term, the terminology given to you by people of this planet. Now, you have all come from very different areas, from very different regions in space, different places of time, different structures of matter. And there are some serious problems that I think we need to address regarding communicating with the indigenous humans of this planet. This planet, I have to remind everyone that this planet is a very isolated planet. It's a very insular planet that has been woefully indoctrinated in not only indoctrinated into believing that there is no life outside of this planet, off this planet, but more importantly, because that's the other thing that's very difficult to change, that indoctrination, all of those decades and centuries of programming, but more importantly is this planet not only speaks several thousand languages, but the way that humans learn, the way that humans build relationships, the way that humans adopt new knowledge is very different from you and us. It's very different. And I think this is one of the fundamental issues that I have found myself is this learning process. You see, a Stellan observes a situation and then will read into that situation according to their own disposition, to their own understanding of themselves, to their own expertise. And they will apply that learning, those learnings, to a situation or they will store that as knowledge and information. So to a Stellan, something may, might occur and the Stellan automatically interpolates that, automatically analyzes that situation, learns from its multi-dimensional knowledge base, studies the data within the context. In other words, a Stellan does not need a teacher because the situation teaches. Whether it's a tree, a child, an event, a situation, an image, that can teach you because you have this ability to access multiple dimensions of knowledge, therefore you have this multi-dimensional learning process. This is something you take for granted. Well, you don't take for granted, but human beings don't have this ability. How's that? Human beings still don't have this ability 
A human being will make sense of something that's important to them. A child's birthday, a wedding, something that has very personal, emotional meaning to them. Even to a celebrity, a beloved celebrity, something happens to them, they will look into it, they will study it. The problem is, again, human beings have been indoctrinated into looking at the superficial things of life. Terrorist threats, uh, celebrity gossip, and news events involving murder, rape, things of this nature, emergencies. So something happens, they want to know more. Their child goes to school, they're concerned about the child because they have a relationship with the child. They're going to take an exam, they're concerned about the exam because they want to pass the exam. Now, we all know this, this is common things. These are common things. It's called, uh, you know, mainstream topics. You find them in the newspapers, you find it in the news. Now, the presence of Stellan cultures, the, your presence on this planet is not in the news. It's not a common topic. It has no relationship to them. It's like some phenomenal event. It's like some rare celestial object <clears throat> floating across the sky. <clears throat> Even they see a comet stream across the sky there's only so much information they can gather from that and only astronomers or amateur astronomers could study the comet, its trajectory, its, uh, its meaning, its history, its appearance. So when you talk about a starship, people have no connection to that starship. They have no understanding of that. When you talk about visiting a star child, visiting uh, a Stellan family, and having an interaction, or providing a healing, or providing some other service to them, or information, to them this is like a celestial event. It is so far away from everyday things that their understanding of that, their relationship to that, is very distant. And it will remain distant without explanation and understanding. So there are some very big issues here. I'm trying to constrain it without losing focus and spending hours and hours discussing this. So the focus is, what I want to communicate is the, is communicating to these people that your presence here is relevant, is important, and it's valuable for them to know and to learn more about. So we don't have that. We don't have this curiosity because a number of reasons. Because of the widespread fear campaigns, the disinformation from the dark agencies, from the secret societies, from all their interference, which has gone unabated for decades. But we also have this lack of communication. We're not speaking the right language, so people don't understand it's important. They only understand it's a phenomenon. To them, it's like science fiction. It's like, it's like you know, in the past, people would see an angel, or they would see God, or Satan. And they have this, this distant association to those constructs. So they have the same distant association to you because they don't understand your presence. They don't know the value of your presence here. 
they've been indoctrinated and educated in superficial things, smaller subjects. You don't study Stellan cultures in school. They don't study starships. In fact, this stuff is censored. This stuff is blocked out of the mainstream. So where am I heading with this? I think that we need to alter the communication approach with human beings. We meaning you because you have the equipment and the ships and the numbers so that rather than having an event and then leaving that event for the human beings to interpret as has been done in the past there's a UFO so now the human beings right we leave it up to them to figure out what all that means and they don't have that capacity we are now seeing more and more people uh, learning that at capacity but people don't think it's important that there are starships if they thought it was important they would be communicating publicly they would be speaking publicly they would be writing publicly they will be accessing the media but they're not doing that so that's the proof the proof is they don't understand the value it's like if I don't understand the value of gold and I find a pot of gold and I don't take it I don't understand the value of gold now if before finding that gold my friend tells me one ounce of gold is worth a thousand dollars and I find this 10 pounds of gold I know I can retire rich so we don't have this in regards to these extraterrestrial events people see a ship they don't understand the value of that ship they don't understand that there's a crew on board and that crew it belongs to a certain race or a number of races and those races have planets and on those planets they have families and they have children they don't understand that because they've been taught they've been indoctrinated into being afraid of anything strange and they've been told that any alien being is a monster and will mutilate your cattle and will eat your children so they don't want to find out who's flying that ship they don't want to know that that person comes from another planet and the people who do think about that they still don't care to pursue it any further they don't understand the value they don't understand the context they don't understand the meaning because as far as I'm concerned if there was one ship in our sky and I understood the value of that ship one ship I would dedicate the rest of my life to telling everybody about the ship about the crew about life on other planets I would write book after book after book after book if I understood the value if I don't understand the value it will be some kind of phenomenal event I will have nightmares about it I will have people call me crazy saying I was delusional I might even go on medication and I'll never ever understand what it was so the problem is again I'm trying to go back communication when there is an event it needs some context and some explanatory support we need to educate people on why it's important why it's important that this event is here why are these people important 
what do these people want? We need to provide some education. I look at movies. I like movies. Look at movies. It's a great movie, but before you see the movie, there's a synopsis. There's a summary. There is a description so that I can make an informed decision. There's some kind of logical, logical uh, explanation, teaching. So that I, as a viewer, can say, okay, what is this movie about? Who's in this movie? And this synopsis is educating me. So when I go see the movie, now I have, I have an investment in the movie. I have an interest in the movie. I value the movie because I understand it. I know the actor. I like the story. I like the director. And then, after the movie, I talk about the movie with my friends. And they know about the director. And they like the actor. And now we're building this emotional connection, this intellectual connection to a movie. But if I was just to show the movie and don't provide a synopsis, don't explain what the movie's about, don't have any movie critics, uh, don't, tell, don't tell the names of the actors, don't tell the director, have no credits. Just put the movie out there. The people won't watch that movie because there's, there's no relationship. They don't know what's going on. You're going to get a very, very select group of people, a very small group of people who will go see that movie. And when they, after they go see it, they go, well, I don't know who the actor is. I don't know who directed it. I didn't really understand the story because I wasn't told about it. I don't know if it was good or bad because I didn't have a movie critic explain it to me. So people would walk out confused. But a Stellan, a Stellan would watch that movie and they could glean, they could learn all kinds of information from it because they are more proactive, they have better uh, skills in looking at these things. <clears throat> but when you take this, this film and you put credits and you explain who's the director, who's the actor, who's the production designer, what's the script based on, who wrote the script, when you have a movie critic give their rating system to the movie. They talk about the movie. This was good, this wasn't so good, that was good, that wasn't so good. <clears throat> when you have a synopsis so that people can read about it. Oh, this movie's coming up. This is what it's about. This is who's in it. And then afterwards you have the emotional connection. Afterwards you have the actors. They go on television. They, they talk about how they made the movie, they talk about why they were interested in making the movie, how when they were a kid their father talked about science fiction and they wanted to make a science fiction movie. You got the emotional context, you got the intellectual context, you have the visual entertainment, and all of those things provide the glue to create a sense of value and connection to that movie. And if that movie's any good, those things are multiplied. But we don't have this in the extraterrestrial business. We have a sighting. We have these, these strange people uh, appeared in my house. They did some stuff and then they left. So we don't know what's going on. We don't know the context. We don't know the information. There's no follow-up discussion. There's there's no associative data from the person. The person who was visited is often traumatized or confused. And they often get visited by other people who traumatize them and confuse them. So what's happened is we are not building any value. And we have all this value. We have an immeasurable value. And the, the fact that you're here is evidence of that value. But that value is not communicated to the society. The question is how to communicate that value to these people. And that's the harder question. 
but without communicating that value, we will not build a relationship with the indigenous life forms on this planet. We will not, because they don't understand the value. They're, they they have thousand pounds of gold in their house, and they have no idea they're rich. And they have no food, they're, they have no money to pay the bills, but they have a thousand pounds of gold. But they don't understand that gold is valuable. So they need to be educated. So the basic is, there is an event. There is a ship, uh, or a, a series of ships. That needs to be summarized, that needs to be communicated. These ships appeared for such and such a reason. Then, some of the key people involved in that, on the ground, or an expert, needs to go out publicly to explain their, uh, their history with these people, their interactions with advanced races of people, their sightings, how it's changed their life, and what that particular event was about. And one time will never be enough. Will never be enough. And there's going to be all kinds of interference. This is, the, this is another problem. There's all kinds of interference. But my view is this. We will never build a relationship with a race of people who don't understand the value of your presence here. So you can create uh, new technologies, you can advance science, you can heal people, you can introduce new ideas, new software, you can prevent um, a an, an fake alien invasion. You can prevent an asteroid from hitting this place, but nobody cares who you are. You're some mysterious force doing mysterious things. Nobody cares. And we have to make them care. And we make them care by understanding that there are events going on and there are people involved and these people are, come from off planet. But I think that we should create some visual events. Now I'll let, I'll let all of you decide what those would be. Because it wouldn't be proper to, for me to explain it here. But I'm just going to give you my ideas on to increase the value of that event. That's what we want to do. We want to increase the value of an event. So you have an event. There's a visual event. I use a basic example. There's a ship. There's three ships. Now, those ships need a synopsis. They need to be summarized. They need to be explained. These three ships from such and such galaxy were here on this day, at this time, over this city for this basic purpose. So we have a visual event, we have a description, a summary, an explanation, and then we need the emotional context. It's very important. We need some people to provide an emotional context. Somebody comes up, could be a 12-year-old girl, says, oh yeah, I've, I've had these, I've seen these people before, I know one of them, I've seen these ships, I've been on a ship. I've always dreamed of this day they'd come. And when they appeared on that particular day, I was so happy. But you know, it has to be it has to be truthful, of course, but it has to be part of the story. So now we're creating not just an event. Again, if you show me a ship, I get excited. And I understand what's going on. But to other people, it's a phenomenon. It's like, whoa, it's like Jesus coming out of the sky. So we need to close this gap. We need to build a relationship with these people to say that 
We're not monsters. We're not here to eat children. We do happen to have ships, but we're we're not just about the ships. We're, we're about many things. And those things need to be explained. And they need to be explained. They need to be done on a regular basis. <clears throat> because as you all know, we live in a uh, forgetful environment. We we have this, it's another big issue, but we have this issue of forgetfulness. Forgetfulness of things that we don't understand. Of things that we're afraid of. Or made to be afraid of. Now the interstellar issue is one of them. So that even an event happens, even is great, that person within a week will forget about it. They might even forget who they are. So forgetfulness is a big issue, so we need to repeat these things. We cannot expect to have one armada of ships appear and the whole world will change, because that's just not going to happen. And that's not going to create value and understanding. That's not going to increase knowledge of other races. That's just going to put more... That's just going to be more fear. Because it's more of a phenomenon. All of a sudden, these ships appear out of nowhere. The government's not explaining anything to us. The intelligence agencies are denying it ever happened. And uh, the space agencies are saying it's a bunch of balloons. You know, within a week, it's gone. And the few people who... The few people who can understand it, they're not going to pursue it. They don't understand the context. They don't know what it means. So somehow, you know, if you were to provide an event and all the thousands of people you've helped and contacted over the years who you have given so much to them, maybe get them to give something back, to, to, to focus, you know, on this issue. Because I am aware of myself, of the multitude of hours and years given to certain people on this planet. And I'm also aware of those people not doing, not reciprocating, not reciprocating, not even 1% of that. And if they reciprocated 1%, they felt like, I did enough. And I don't think that's fair to you. I don't think it's fair that you spend 20 years communicating with a human being or a family and all they do is do an interview. You give this person 20 years of your time and they give you an interview. You know. And I, I think the problem is that this is you're overly generous and human beings are overly selfish. And that's a big issue. I don't think that's going to be corrected. A Stellan would understand obligation. That you invested in me. I'm obligated to reciprocate to a certain degree. That comes to, again, that comes through understanding and knowledge. If, if you have that understanding and knowledge, then you do it. I don't see it being done. I don't see it being done because I know of, I know myself of many, many people who have had years and years of contact and I look in the UFO industry and there's only a handful of people. And out of that handful, half of those are deluded. They've been manipulated. They've been corrupted. So there's a very small group that knows what's going on. Again, this is the problem. If you ask somebody to uh, speak out, communicate, they're going to get attacked, they're going to get manipulated, because they they're still don't understand we're in the middle of a very serious situation. 
there's a dark force and there's a light force. You know, so again, it's 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 education is a big problem. If I say if I teach somebody, and I say, okay, why don't you why don't you go out there and share my message, and then they just they innocently go share the message and they get attacked, then they're not going to get very far, and whatever they say is going to be wrong. And that would I would feel very discouraged, but. I think in this point, at this point uh, of evolution, I think there are enough people awake. I think there's enough people who've been communicating with you for many years. And there's enough knowledge out there. Human beings still don't have the willpower. They don't have the willpower to do this. They don't have the interest to do this. And they're usually focused on the, their own issues, whether it's losing weight, or uh, overcoming relationship problems or financial problems, which is all reasonable, but I think at this point we need to get some people um, dedicating some aspect of their life to bridging the gap between humanity and Stellans. Humans and Stellans, we need these people. And I think these people, some of these people, there shouldn't there shouldn't be a question now in the past as well they've had to be asked to help they said if you ask me I'll do anything but we need these people to do it without being asked <laughs> we need to remind them listen you need to figure it out and you need to put it in your own life and do as you can and we don't have to ask you you know, we need to tell them that. You're an adult being, you're a human being, you're educated, you know basically what's going on. Do something. And if they say, well, I don't know what to do, then those people, again, they're not ready. But this, is, this, is, this has been the issue. I've had people too, if you ask me, I'll do it. But I don't have to ask you. You should do it. There's a starship. There are people from outer space. <laughs> there are people from other dimensions. Do something. It's important. See, they still don't see the value in it. So you have this, we have this value, the value of an event needs to be better explained. So if you guys are planning an event, have people reach the public somehow and explain the event. Because that event's gonna get corrupted, it's gonna get covered up, it's gonna get censored. Have the people not get discouraged to keep repeating it, to, to find more outlets, to contact the alternative media. So you, now we have the alternative media. If the central media won't listen, which they, they're controlled, the alternative media will listen. And if enough of these events are generated, small events, we don't need big, we don't need big life-changing events, small events, if enough events are generated, creates enough discussion. The alternative media starts to displace the central media. The central media has a choice. We are going to lose market share, or we better start talking about extraterrestrials. So we need to generate that vibration, that vibration of news, that vibration of interest. And we have that because the people talking know the value. They know the value. They're writing things down. They're talking about it because it was so wonderful. They're so interested to find out the different planets and the different ships and the different people and different technologies and what's free energy. You know, these guys are... That's what they want to talk about. They don't want to talk about the celebrities. They don't want to talk about the, the wars in the Middle East. They want to talk about the oil crisis and the bad economy. They want to talk about, let's get some free energy knowledge. Let's figure out, you know, what galaxies are inhabited. Let's see what kind of ships there are. Let's draw all the ships. I sketched all the ship ideas I can think of. Look, we need to get them excited about these things. So I think the alternative media is there. I think enough people are awake, but no one seems to understand the value. At least 
<clears throat> for seven years I've been speaking and they don't really understand the value of what I'm saying and I have made hundreds of videos I have made many discussions and books and they still don't understand the value so you can see and I'm and I'm physical I, you can see me so imagine yourself who has a very distant relationship who have a very advanced way of thinking who don't really understand the way humans think because humanity thinks in a very different context they need to have explanations they need to have emotional connection they need to have logical connection it needs to be repeated it needs to be taken from different angles I think if this starts to happen we'll create discussion instead of saying uh, there's a cattle mutilation and there's an abduction we we'll get away from all that once people understand the value and say well hey I saw a ship I saw an Andromedan ship I saw a Palladian ship which one do you like better you know there's now there's a different discussion and we're still way away from the real thing which is the people we're not going to get there if we keep doing the same thing I also think as a final point that the infrastructure within the reality base the infrastructure is there so that it's very very difficult for the dark agencies to corrupt this process and this was a problem in the past in the past <clears throat> when you would build a relationship when you would make effort the the infrastructure the architecture would be hacked would be corrupted would be utilized to destroy all those efforts so the architecture has been greatly improved the pool of people who are awake is very large is very it's nearly impossible to put them to sleep you cannot put them all to sleep and we have enough star children now even get the children involved the children will embarrass the adults because the adults have a lot of hang-ups the adults are still have been indoctrinated in poor thinking the children are innocent they're very honest they're forthright have children speak people will listen if the adults don't want to do it get the children so if I think you know I think if we we have the architecture we have the um, we have the people we have enough people awake we have enough alternative media and we need more value we don't we don't have enough value we don't have enough of this understanding of the context of who's involved and I think all of this should be done these contacts these events should be done on a small level you know small events we don't need big events we don't need any, anything too big it's just going to it's going to activate the paranoid agencies who will do something stupid small events in local communities generating you know having a new level of communication building value and we build value is going to take time you're building a relationship with people so that they trust you that you are not monsters that you don't want to eat them that you are not all big and powerful and that they are ants you know all these things are in people's minds and it's going to take uh, an educational process to get through that but I think now is a good time I think we need to change it I think the I think if we don't change our approach we will never build a relationship with people of earth we have to change the approach how exactly is done that's <laughs> that's that's the billion dollar question but it it's it's centered 
is centered upon communication and understanding. It's not even so much of the event anymore. A small event can create a large discussion. You don't need big event. We don't need big event because that's just going to cause that's going to cause more separation. That's going to cause more censorship. Small events, long explanation, and then multiple events, multiple events, more events, and we're generating that field that feel that vibration of truth of knowledge and that's going to spread and that's going to create value and that's the glue that's the glue between Stellans and humans and once we have that glue the dark agencies and the paranoid schizoid groups they won't be able to destroy that they won't they won't be able to do it, and they're going to be exposed. When people want to know more, the bad guys will get exposed. They'll have to come up, oh, I'm guilty. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I think it's probably my first time I've done it this way. No, it's not meant to offend but I'm trying to communicate from the human side because the the gap between this civilization and your civilization is so vast <laughs> it, it's too vast it's too vast and they will never catch up to you so all we can do is try to explain, try to explain the value of gold. Explain the value of gold. And we have a chance.